Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. No, no, do not forgive. Greetings once again from the world of constructive snark, and I have a letter from a viewer, Barry Fictional, who says, Dear Pete, I see that your videos are now often prefaced by ads for Deliveroo, but as you're using copyright material, they are presumably not eligible for monetization. Does this mean that we, the viewers, have an even greater moral or ethical responsibility to buy your book? Well, thank you for that unexpected insight, Barry. Do you know, you're absolutely right. My book is available online, and if you're watching this, then you sort of have to buy it. The films that win the Golden Bear at the Berlin Film Festival can be very left field and off the wall, and this year was no exception. A film that's being released in the UK this week. It's by the Romanian director, who only just recently made a very high-minded docudrama about oppression in the Ceausescu era called Uppercase Print, and the director is Radu Jude. This, on the other hand, is a situationist, absurdist freakout featuring gonzo amateur porn, and that title, no one has yet explained to me if its inelegance is a result of translation or if it just sounds like that in the original Romanian, is Bad Luck Banging or Loony Porn. Cine este pentru ca doamna Cilibiu să rămână profesoara copiilor dumneavoastră? Vedeți că ați blocat trotuarul! Ne înseamnă că este nevinovată. Să vadă clipul și cei care nu l-au văzut. Îl ascultă la oral. Da, și eu vă rog să vă opriți, gata. Nu oprim nimic, vreau să vedem până la finalizare. Adică noi suntem la o școală bună. Sunteți niște jigodi! Asta e inadmisibil! As well as being about porn, this chaotic film is about COVID, about the pent-up rage and frustration which Romania and everyone else has been cultivating during lockdown. It's in three parts. In part one, we see a harassed school teacher called Emi, played by Katia Pascario, attending to all her various jobs and chores. And everyone in the shops is wearing masks or not wearing them. And they're all very, very grumpy. Emi is in trouble because a video of her and her boyfriend having sex has surfaced on the internet, quite without her permission. And so she is, utterly unfairly, facing the sack. In part two, the director disrupts or suspends the narrative to give us an A to Z definition rundown of many different terms and ideas, from military tyranny to blowjobs. And in part three, Emmy is subject to a kangaroo court show trial in which she must somehow persuade her shriekingly reactionary and misogynistic accusers that all this is not her fault, but the fault of the person who uploaded the video. This is a very bizarre film, which in its chaotic and uningratiating way does intuit the weird, mad moodscape of COVID, the cabin fever of lockdown, the frustration, including sexual frustration, the rage, the new currents of extremist and paranoid political thinking, and the increased addiction to the web and to social media. And how would we have handled the lockdown without the internet? How did they do it for the Spanish flu in 1919? I don't know. This is a cinema of ideas, and I kind of wish I liked it more than I do. I got the sense that it wasn't every bit as hilarious as it was supposed to be, and that ideas aside, comedy is not exactly Rado Jude's forte, but it's certainly worth seeing. That's it. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment to say that you've subscribed and leave your thoughts about Lady Gaga, because this is Lady Gaga's week, after all. Be seeing you.